we are going to use the same block size. Okay? So this is 525. And the next, how many? How many index key entries do we need here? How many index key? Is it dense or non dense? It's a non dense. It's a number of blocks. So we need a, this one, this one, this one. That is the same as number of blocks. What is the number of blocks? 10. 10K. So number of index key entry, IR is 10K. OK? Then what is the blocking factor for index? In other words, how many index key entry can you keep in one block? One. One? So index key entry size is a 16 bytes. How many 16 bytes for 512? That is 512 bytes divided by 16. 16. Then floating or ceiling? Four. It's a ceiling. Because if we have a remainder, we are going to throw away. OK? So what is this? Anyone? 32. 32. In other words, in one block, how many index key and entry can you keep? 32 index key entry. Then how many blocks do you need? Total how many entry? 10K. Okay? Divide by 32. What is that? Then. This one is a floating because in case we have one entry, we need to total entire block. So what is that? Thousand divide uh, ten thousand divided by thirty two. Three hundred. Three hundred. What? Okay, let's. What does that mean? We need one, two, three. 312 blocks are needed to keep index data. Okay? Then, how long it takes to search the data using index? We can use low this one. Because index entries are sorted, we can use binary search. So, Instead of n, row 2, 300, 1, 2. What is that? I think so. Probably 8 and 9 is 500 to 250. So we got 8 something, right? 2 to the power of 8. It's a we got 2 to the power of 8 less than 2 to the power of 9. So it's a probably A something. Okay? So let's say A. So in other words, to search index key entry, how many blocks do you need to access? A blocks. Okay? Is that all? No. A blocks plus you need to access data block. So A plus 1. That is 9. So on average, it takes on nine blocks. What was this one? This one is 13. Which one is the faster? Nine is smaller. Nine is faster. Using index is faster than without using index. That is the benefit. Okay. At this time, Do I need to prove that this performance using implementation? So I, I, I was the one who proposed this idea. So do I need to prove using implementation? No. Actually, we don't have to do that. Why? Because mathematically, it's a perfect. At that time, you don't have to prove implement. In case you cannot prove, like the statistics, or some other ambiguous or more parameter values. At that time, you need to simulate. Some of you guys are interested in network. At the time, I have the network protocol, new one. 
or new routing. But if you can prove the performance using the mathematics, like the equation, you don't have to prove it. You don't have to implement it. Just mathematics is enough. However, there are many parameter values, like the number of nodes, number of distance, it's a normal distribution, and something like that. The time you need to simulate what really implement like the station, base station, and the, the cell phone, then takes the measure the time, that is the implementation. In this case, no, you don't have to do that. Mathematical is perfect. Indexing is faster than without using index. That is the benefit of the indexing structure. This is the non-dense index, it's the primary index. Representative value. One value for each block because inside the block they are already sorted to find the such a data, it doesn't take a time, so we can ignore. So, this is the same example as this one. This time, name is the primary key. So then, we it's a sorted by the name. At this time, we don't need all of them. Aaron, Abbott, whatever. No, we need only the first one. That is called the anchor value. Aaron, Adams, Alexander, Allen, Anders. So we can make the index using such an anchor value. How many index key entry is the same as number of blocks. It can be also blocking. So to search the data from index, we can use the binary search and plus one more to access the data. That is the primary index. I'm not going to explain the, this evaluation. You can, it's a simple math. Math doesn't, it's not very difficult. You can easily catch up. Is it, is it required in the exam? The, the what do you want? The, the mathematics. What do you want? No. A question. <laughs> so, you want to in final exam? Yeah. Yes or no? Uh, no. Actually, this one is an easy question. But I'm not going to ask the, the, this one in the exam. Okay? The next one is the clustering index. Sometimes, for example, in this case, this file is ordered by the primary key, which means the data are unique. There is no duplication. Sometimes you can have data file sorted by non-key. In other words, for example, D number. So D number is a unique data in employed. One 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 two 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 three three three. There are a lot of duplication, but I wanna make the. Uh, I wanna order data file using such a non-key column. Okay, at that time the data file look like this, right? Department number one one one, intro. Two two two, intro. Three three three, intro. Okay, this is not the primary index. This is called cluster index. Why? It's a kind of a group. So group index. At this time, how can we make the index? We can get the first data of each group. So in this case, one is this. And what about the number two? Number two begins from this block. So same address of one. Right? Number three starts from the second block. The address of the three is this block. 
And what about the four? Four is here, five is here, and six is here, and eight is here. Okay? So this is a cluster index. However, somebody don't want to make one block for two or three different values. It makes confused. Okay? At that time, if you do not allow such a dual, uh, the dual data in one block, you can make the different types of clustering index. Enter this one. One for this. So two, even though we have the free space, move to the next block. And two, three, we don't need, we, do, we need more space at the time, we can point to the next one. Four, five, six, eight. Okay? Most of them are clustering index. So, primary index is an index for what? Primary. And clustering index is for non key, but it's ordered. Okay? At this time, is it the dense index or non dense index? No. No. It's a non dense index. So you can see the part of the data are indexed. So it's a non dense index. Another one is the secondary index. For example, I want to make the index. For example, this one. I can access the data using employee ID. And previous one, I can access the data using department number. All of them are ordered data file. What if I want to access the data, non ordered data? Okay? Which means, so in this, another example is the like this. This one, I don't know the name of the data file. Table, but it's already ordered by this, whatever that is. Let's say this is a social security number. This is employee ID. So there's no way to order the two columns. This one, no, only one column will be used. One key will be used. So this is already ordered. But I want to access the, this data using employee ID that is not sorted, ordered. At that time, how can we make the index? First, order the key, index key. In this case, employee ID, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then, address for the block where the data is in. Enter this for each. Do you need the anchor? No. Anchor does not mean anything here because they are not sorted. At that time, we need all the value for the data. Okay? Is it dense index or non-dense index? In this case, this is the dense index. In most of the case, for example, Oracle, every index using Oracle are dense index. They don't care the non-dense index. Non-dense index is good for ordered data file. But do we need to consider the two types of sorting? When you insert the data, you need to sort the data file, you need to sort the index file, it takes a longer time. So we do not sort the data file, but only focus on index, so most of the data file are not sorted. That's the answer over here. So in real case, data file is non-ordered. In, instead, we are going to use the sorted index. Index definitely is a sorted order data. At that time, since data are not ordered, it will be automatically dense index. Okay. <coughs> the problem is, at this time, this might be okay still. If the key, even though the data employee ID is not sorted, ordered, it's a key, either candidate key or primary key. Which means, as I said, Professor Lee said before, key or candidate key, primary key, are the best way to access the data. So, using your name or ID, I can easily identify you. However, when I call your name, instead of the calling your name, 
the handsome guy and black hair than average race. Right? It's very hard to identify. However, sometimes, sometimes we need to access the data without using the key. At that time, if we can make the index for such a non-key attribute, so we can speed up. At that time, that is for the non-key secondary index. There are several ways to implement non-key secondary index. Actually, option <coughs> 1, 2, 3 are the same concept. Let's go back to the textbook example. So when I search, um, which one? Microwave. Microwave is in the 109, 114, 142, 247, 809. Which means for one index key entry, how many pointer? Four pointer or five pointer because they are not unique. It can be everywhere. So how can we make the index? The easiest way is actually all of these are the same idea. But I can show you the difference. When we make the index for such a non key. So one, 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 one. So one is where? First block, like the page number. And third block, this one. And fifth block, you can list up the or address where the data is in. This is one way. However, it's a little bit hard to manage. Why? We don't know how many addresses are there. Okay? So why don't we make separate block? And this is the index. One, then pointer to this one. Then this is a pointer to this one, this is a pointer to this one, then this one has pointer, this one has pointer, this one has pointer. Okay, this is the non- secondary index. Okay? That actually this is the same idea as that mentioned several index entry with the same key value. That is the same idea as this one. We can separate. Let's see the example. Like this. this is the example that I showed you. One is actually in the first block, third block, and fourth this block. So one is, uh, this is the block that includes the pointer only for this one. So one, this one, this one. So this is the secondary index for non Okay. So this is the, the summary. All of these are actually single level. Which means index, even though know the previous one, this one has looks like a different level, but for the index, it's only one level. So we are saying these are the single level index. Good news is these are not used for commercial DBMS system. But anyway, still this is the basis. So starting basic idea of this. What is the problem of this single level index? Uh, before that, why don't we summarize? This one, primary index, definitely non dense index, and we are going to use the anchor data. Why? Because they are already sorted in the data file. Clustering is a definitely non dense, sometimes anchor, sometimes we do not use the anchor. Secondary index, in case of non key, is the dense, and we do not use the anchor data. Even though that is a key, is the dense, and this one. What is the problem of this single level index? Can you find any problem? No? What if we have 
10 million of data. They are not sorted here. How many index key entry? 10 million. I know. Meaning to say 10 million of block. Right? Ah, this is a dense index. So 10 million of index key entry. It takes long, but long time to find the data from index. Even when the data is growing up, searching time will be increased. So we cannot get the benefit of, yes, that's a faster than without using index. But still it's a slow, it's not acceptable. So that is a problem. So any solution to address that problem? Actually, morning class answers. What can be the solution? Index is too big to search the index and data. Then how can you address that problem? No idea? So multi index? Yes. Why don't you make index of index? This is called multi-level index. So index of index, for example, in the previous example, for example, this one is too big. <coughs> then make the index <coughs> of this index. If this one is still big, make the another index. That is called a multi-level index. Good news, multi-level index is not used for commercial DBMS. Still, it has problem. What is the problem? It's not uniformly distributed. Sometimes, this branch is data are skewed. It takes a longer time than the other. So that is not good for query optimizer. So they need to find a solution which is the B3 index and B plus 3 index. Those are the most popular indexing structure using commercial DBMS. So for this multi-level index as well as the B3, B plus 3 index will be discussed in the next week. That should be part of your final exam also. It's not difficult. It's not easy, but it's not very difficult. Next class or next week? Next week. The class is ended today, right? Yeah. 2.45. Okay.